One of the most asked questions that I get asked all the time is how do you find your calling? How do I find what God wants me to do on this earth? Before we answer this question and six things that I believe you should pay attention to in order to find your calling, I would like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell so that you can be reminded when we upload new videos and we stream every Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. If you are visiting again this channel and you've seen videos before, don't forget to stay engaged with us and click like on the video and drop your comment of what you think about this topic and how you learn or what you learned from this video. Now, concerning the will of God for our life, we have to understand is there's a general will of God for every single Christian. And this general will of God or general calling of God involves following Jesus, forsaking sin, and fishing for souls. Follow, forsake, and fish. And that applies to every Christian. And as we get involved in the general call of God for our lives, God's specific call will become evident with time. So as you get involved with the general call of God, God's specific will for your life will become clear with time. Now, as you do this general will of God, which is to follow Jesus, forsake sin, and to fish for souls, meaning win souls and make disciples, I want to encourage you to pay attention to these six cues that will help you to stumble into your specific will of God. Now, I'm going to say it again. If you're not interested in doing God's will that's revealed for you, then you should not be asking God's specific will for your life. So many people are asking the Lord, what should I do with my life, you know, specifically, while they're ignoring the general and revealed will of God for their life. And God is not going to reveal to you His specific will, your specific calling, if you're not interested in doing the revealed calling that He reveals from His Word. So now I'm assuming that you are doing your revealed calling, your general calling that every Christian has. So let's just touch on six cues to this specific calling. The first one is the special revelation from God. It's when God can reveal this specific calling through a dream, vision, prophecy, or inner whisper. God revealed the calling to Moses out of a burning bush. To others, it was through an angel. Some were called into their calling by a prophet. For example, like King Saul and King David were appointed and anointed by a prophet Samuel. In my sense, in my way, it was really also the impression, spiritual touch of God that I felt during one of my prayer times that ushered me into the ministry that I'm doing today. The second cue is the advice of others. It's our faith community along with leadership can see and discern God's calling over your life better than we can see it ourselves. It's important to pay attention to their suggestions as to where we fit best in the big picture of God's redemptive plan for humanity. Number four, your passion. There are causes that get you excited. There are things that you're passionate about that does not deplete you but replenishes you and that could be a cue for your calling. For example, your passion could be an indicator. If you're passionate concerning preaching, if you're passionate for missions, if you're passionate for songwriting, if you are passionate for signs and wonders, if you are passionate for, you know, a creative arts or media, and that could be a signal of God see, signaling to you and speaking to you of your specific calling. Number five, talents and gifts. See, passion is good, but then you also have to look in if you are gifted in that area or you are graced in that area. Talents come with birth. Gifts come with salvation. 
God graced you with natural abilities and spiritual gifts for the purpose of fulfilling your calling. Your gifts and talents are good suggestion of what your calling is. These gifts and these talents can be a cue into what your calling is. If you have this natural gift or natural talent of public speaking and then you have spiritual gift of this anointing and inspiration, boldness when you speak, that could be a sign that God is calling you into preaching the gospel. Maybe you are naturally born with a talent to sing and then you're spiritually also then given this grace to write songs that could be also a sign that God is leading you into leading worship and so that's one of the ways to discern your calling number six it's your experience God can use your mess and turn it into message scars can become your stars Moses escaped Egypt and then God used him to deliver Israel out of Egypt at times the things we go through they're not just for ourselves but they are for our ministry devil wanted to use our past to destroy us but God not only rescued us from our past he will recycle our past to enhance his purpose on the earth so I want to encourage you sometimes look back in the backyard of your experiences and check your experiences because God at times will use our experiences to fuel our calling. The things we came out from could become the breathing ground for where God is taking us, our calling. And so I want to remind you in the conclusion, get busy doing your general calling of God. Get busy doing the revealed will of God. And God will make His specific will more clear for you. Be faithful in small things. Don't look for a place to shine. Look for a place to serve. Don't look for a title. Pick up a towel. Be like David. He was called to be a king, but he was faithful with the sheep. He wasn't waiting for Saul to die. He was ministering to Saul as a musician. So look for opportunity to serve. Don't be committed to your potential. Be committed to your purpose and God will help you to fulfill your potential. Remember, God is not as interested in helping you to reach your calling as He is interested in changing you in the process of you reaching your calling. Let me know in the comment below what you think of this video and how did you find your calling? Or are you still looking for your specific calling? Did this help you to clear some smoke maybe in your head concerning the issue of calling? Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share with your friends or family. Thank you and until next time.